Welcome to another episode of the Home Shopper Show and today we've paired up these beautiful apartments in Santon with a classic car from the 1970s. This is a Mercedes-Benz 280SE 1972, an absolute classic. But is this the right choice for the apartments we've had today? And also what I'd like you guys to do is in the comments below, I'm going to be looking, in the comments below, tell us what car you feel suits the house you are currently living in. Whether you're renting or whether you own, tell us what car suits that house. I want to take a look and you never know, the choice of car you put down might be the next car we are driving. So I'm looking forward to that guys, but come along with me. Let's take a look at these two incredible million rand apartments in Santon. Here I am in a car, but not just any car. This is a 1972 Mercedes-Benz 280 SE. This is this period's version of an S-Class. So it is definitely a car that was all about luxury because this does harken back to the day when Mercedes-Benz wasn't about an acceleration, it wasn't about technology, it was about comfort, pure cruising comfort. And when you get this car up to speed and you get going, it is such a comfortable car to drive in. But it is definitely still a car that you can't forget was made very, very long ago. So there's a lot of things in here that for many of us would throw you off. There's no radio station. Uh, all the windows are definitely not electric, but it is something that for the last half an hour I've been driving it. It's such a pleasure to drive when you're not in fear of dinging it or possibly not used to the brakes, clutch, or just the way it handles. This is a car that is just a car. There's no EBS, there's no traction control, there's no electronic braking assistance. It is just you and the road. And when you get used to that, it is an absolute pleasure to drive. And today, it is driving us to the tallest building in South Africa, the Leonardo. And we're gonna be nearing it very soon. So come with me, let's take a look at what living in the Leonardo is like and how you can find yourself as a resident. Welcome to another episode of the Home Shopper Show. My name is Chad Viveros and I'm going to be taking you around some of the most exclusive properties this country has to offer. And right now we are in a very exclusive area and the most desirable zip code in South Africa and that is Santon City. But we're not just anywhere in Santon City, we are in the tallest building in South Africa, the Leonardo. And we are 20 floors up in this one bedroom apartment that's retailing for 5.6 million. Or if you'd like this really nice furnished unit, that is 25,000 rand a month. Let me show you what all that money gets you. Right now we're standing in the lounge slash dining room area with an open plan kitchen to my right. Now there's a lot of conservation of space within an apartment this size, but they've done it really well. This dining room area gives you unobstructed views out of that window, 20 floors up in Santon, there's an incredible skyline for you to observe and for you to enjoy with a very big balcony out there we're going to show you in a moment. But come with me, let me show you this kitchen because they've designed this impeccably. In this kitchen, we have got lacquered cabinets all over, white lacquered cabinets with this Caesar stone or sandstone 
backsplash here, and I don't know exactly what stone it is, so maybe one of you architects in the comments can tell me exactly what the stone backsplash is, because I love how it contrasts with the white in here, it's really nice. The other really nice thing here are the appliances. Now you've got a Siemens cooktop, as well as a Siemens oven, and a built-in Siemens microwave. Again, I've mentioned conservation of space, so let me show you where they've hidden the fridge. Open this cupboard up, opens up directly into a built-in fridge. I love these, they are so cool. I love that it's so discreet and it's not messing up your decor. Let's move off into the lounge area. Coming out of the kitchen, you'll find that there's a little spot here to the left that you can use as a desk. So if you ever do need to do any work, there's a spot there. They've catered for you and they've managed to give you that. But this is the best seat in the house. I've got a view out of that window there of the whole Santa skyline. It must be incredible, specifically during sunsets in the mornings, enjoying a coffee here. Can you complain? Probably not. But an apartment this size very easily could feel small. And this apartment does not feel that at all. And I think a lot of what's causing that are the incredibly high ceilings. It brings up so much volume in the area and the way the curtains as well as the lighting is recessed into the ceiling. I love how they've designed these apartments. It's done awesomely. Another awesome feature are the Venetian blinds that close off your lounge from your master bedroom. So let's go through those blinds and show you what that master bedroom has to offer. Welcome to the master bedroom. So this bedroom has got tons of space. It has also got its own private balcony. One balcony leading off the lounge, one balcony coming off of the master suite. There's plenty of space here, including storage space. We've got five cupboards behind me as well as a set of drawers. There's space to hang a TV, a smoke detector as well as aircon is included. But what I think the crowning jewel right here is, is the master bathroom and the way they've linked that in to your guest bathroom. So the bathroom's up next, let's go. So this is a one bedroom, one and a half bathroom and the way they've achieved that one and a half bathroom is this right here. This frosted glass door separates your main bathroom from the guest bathroom because this door right over here leads out into your hallway. Which means if you close this frosted glass door, you've now got something that you can offer your guests if they do come and visit without intruding on your own privacy. And that's some very cool attention to detail that the designers have paid. And what a better place to say goodbye than on this balcony with the incredible view behind me. The Leonardo is absolutely stunning and has so many amenities and features to offer prospective owners. So if you want to see more of them, then contact the agents, Nasima Khan. All of their details will be on screen right now and schedule a viewing. But from myself, Chad, the team at Private Property and everybody at the Home Shopper Show, we love you and goodbye. Thank you.